CBDC currencies get full BIS support and XRP will bridge them all. This world is moving toward digitalization. The financial crisis, money issues regarding money laundering, tax evasion, and identity theft have made the world leaders think of going toward a more digitalized system. CBDCs are the cure to these crises, and now the Bank of International Settlements has fully backed the idea of CBDCs and XRP will be the main ingredient in this. Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give daily updates about XRP. As we have announced a monthly giveaway of 1,000 XRP coins, so hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already to participate in the giveaway. And don't forget to click the bell icon and share your views with us in the comment section below. Watch to the end of the video for more chances to win the huge amount of your favorite coin. In today's video, you will know about the support of BIS to central bank digital currencies. You will know that why we need to move toward digitalization and how CBDC is going to play its part in digitalization and how XRP will benefit from this. You will also know about the plans of XRP in regards to CBDCs. So, let's start our video. According to BIS, digital innovation has brought far-reaching changes in all sectors of the economy. Alongside a broader trend toward greater digitalization, a wave of innovations in customer payments has placed money and payment services at the vanguard of this development. An essential byproduct of the digital economy is the huge volume of personal data that are collected and processed as an input into business activity. This raises issues of data governance, customer protection, and anti-competitive practices arising from data silos. The need of ongoing digital and providing a digital identity is a privacy concern. A digital identity scheme, which could combine information from a variant of sources to circumvent the need for paper-based documentation will thus play an important role in such an account-based design. By drawing on information from national registries and from other public and private sources, such as educational certificates, tax and benefit records, property registries, etc., a digital ID serves to establish individual identities online. It opens up access to a range of digital services. For example, when opening a transaction account for an online shopping and protects against fraud and identity theft. Through digitalization, money laundering, identity theft, fraud, anti-terrorist financing, tax evasion, and many other factors that lead to unlawful activities can be prevented. As per World Bank estimation, about 1.1 billion people lack formal identification. Digital identity and access systems can unlock a range of basic and empowering services for individuals, including financial inclusion, healthcare, and education. Equally, they hold a significant promise for helping refugees and displaced populations to access immediate and longer-term services. Here, central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, can contribute to an open, safe, and competitive monetary system that supports innovation and serves the public interest. To solve this problem of privacy concerns, the Bank for International Settlements has partnered with the Central Bank of China, Hong Kong, Thailand, and the UAE to conduct new tests of cross-border central bank digital currencies. The BIS Innovation Hub in Hong Kong, run jointly with the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, work with the People's Bank of China's Digital Currency Institute, as well as the Bank of Thailand and the Central Bank of the UAE, and tested the cross-border CBDC payments. Cryptocurrencies in their archetypal form operate via cryptographic arrangements, which inherently circumvent identification requirements. One core differentiator between central bank digital currencies and pre-existing digital currencies, such as Bitcoin, is that CBDC might conceivably be implemented to operate in tandem with a digital identity system. CBDCs are a form of digital money, denominated in the national unit of account, which is a direct liability of the central bank. CBDCs can be designed for use either among financial intermediaries only or by the wider economy. On June 23rd, the Central Bank to Central Banks, BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, has given its full backing to the development of central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, saying they are needed to modernize finance and ensure big tech does not take control of money. BIS has set out some recommendations on how a CBDC, such as a digital dollar, euro, yen, or yuan, should look. As per the report, as part of its upcoming annual report, it's estimated that at least 56 central banks and monetary authorities, representing around a fifth of the world's population, are now looking at digital currencies as commerce shifts online. Benoit Kior, head of Innovation Hub at the BIS, referred to the move toward central bank digital currencies and its support, said that, the train has left the station. It is not that we are getting carried away, we are just looking around. The push comes as physical cash use falls globally and authorities look to fend off the threat to their money printing powers from Bitcoin and efforts from big tech, such as the Facebook-backed DM, formerly Libra. 
Kiel warned without CBDCs, digital money would become increasingly dominated by big tech firms as they would leverage enormous social media user bases. He described it as a loss of control of sovereign money and said that it is a place where you don't want to be, where governments don't want to be. BIS presented the two ideas that whether citizens need digital IDs to use CBDCs or go down a token-based route that many cryptocurrencies use to keep transactions more anonymous and according to them, the better way to go is the digital ID system. The reason BIS gave for the digital ID option is that it would prevent people using digital currencies from countries other than their own, such as the safe haven dollar. Many banks have already started trialing their first cross-border central bank digital currency payments. The Bahamas became the first to launch a general purpose CBDC known as the sand dollar in October. China has a number of ongoing trials and Switzerland and the Bank of France have announced Europe's first cross-border experiment. The experiment will focus on the bank-to-bank -bank wholesale lending market rather than everyday public transactions, but will be the first time a digital euro and Swiss franc have been fully tested. The European Central Bank is also exploring the introduction of a digital euro within the next five years. It's running into opposition from Germany, though, with a Bundesbank worries that a digital euro could pose risks to banks. As per BIS annual economic report, the ultimate benefits of adopting a new payment technology will depend on the competitive structure of the underlying payment system and data governance arrangements. The same technology that can encourage a vicious cycle of greater access, lower costs, and better services might equal induce a vicious cycle of data silos, market power, and anti-competitive practices. CBDCs and open platforms are the most conducive to virtuous cycles. CBDCs built on digital identification could improve cross-border payments and limit the risks of currency substitution. Multiple CBDC arrangements could cement the hurdles of sharing digital IDs across borders but will require international cooperation. According to the Ripple White Paper, also dubbed as the future of CBDCs, XRP is a neutral currency for CBDCs. Ripple announced earlier this month that the company is testing a private version of the XRP ledger to support central banks in the issuance of central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. A recent report from CPA Australia mentioned that the Central Bank of France is actively considering XRP ledger for the issuance of a central bank digital currency. Ripple has formed several partnerships in recent months, and the company is actively working with many financial companies worldwide. The white paper mentioned the need and then the quality of XRP being the bridging currency and said that, to enable a truly efficient global market, a bridge currency must be specifically optimized for payments and support the same speed, scalability, low cost, and security that CBDCs will provide. One example of a neutral bridge is the digital asset XRP, which can be used as a bridge between two different currencies quickly and efficiently. Benoit Kior had previously said that the cross-border payment solution is a top urgent priority in the current financial world. He called the current CBDC system as non-efficient, and they are looking for more advanced, cheap, cost-effective, and fast technology that cuts across borders. The Ripple community immediately reacted with positivity to this statement, because it is Ripple's greatest ambition to displace the world's legacy cross-border payment system. Most experts think fully functioning digital dollars or euros are still at least two years away, but setting global rules around CBDCs is highly political and heating up. Ripple XRP will be used to bridge all CBDCs. These are very ambitious plans that Ripple has, which will massively increase the utilization of XRP. An increase in utility of XRP means an increase in price. This is something that is going to benefit all XRP investors. During the press conference, Kyur added that Bitcoin has certainly failed the test of becoming a means of payment. XRP is a stable, fast, cheap, scalable, and sustainable currency, and it will be the global financial currency. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is 68 cents USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of $2.9 billion USD. XRP is up 9.08% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 7, with a live market cap of $31 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 46 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think about XRP's future after that? Share your views with us in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon and participate in the giveaway. And thanks for watching.